Thank you for being here. My name is Peter Kaplan, and I'm the Deputy Director of Public Affairs here at the FTC. Uh, welcome to the people joining us on the phone. If you have a cell phone or anything that buzzes or makes noise, I'll ask you now to please turn it off. Today, the FTC is announcing a new law enforcement sweep and consumer education initiative designed to combat uh, scammers who are trying to take advantage of job seekers in these uh, difficult economic times. We're going to hear first from David Vladek, the director of the FTC's Bureau of Consumer Protection. You're going to see a new video produced by the FTC that's designed to help consumers avoid being victimized by these job and money-making scams. After that, we'll have remarks by Assistant Attorney General Tony West, who's graciously taken his time to be here today. And then uh, joining us via video conferencing will be uh, Ohio Attorney General Richard Cordray. And finally, we'll hear from Kathy Wilburn, who's a woman from Texas who lost money in one of these job scans, has uh, very generously agreed to make the trip here to share her experience. After that, we'll take questions from reporters here in the room and on the dial-in lines. <clears throat> and we also, I should mention, have representatives here from Monster.com and Microsoft, uh, two companies that agree have agreed to partner with us in uh, educating consumers about how to avoid these scams. Um, and now, so it's my pleasure to introduce to you uh, David Vladek. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, today we are announcing Operation Bottom Dollar, a, go a joint federal-state crackdown on scammers who see the tens of millions of Americans who are out of work or who, who are underemployed as a lucrative pool of potential uh, victims to prey upon. Uh, their false promises of guaranteed employment and a steady income are particularly noxious. They are tricking job seekers into parting with their last dollars. With so many American families fighting to get back on firm financial footing, our goal is to stop these crooks in their tracks. Operation Bottom Dollar is about protecting consumers looking to earn a dollars, an honest dollar in a tight job market. It's about making sure that the mom who has lost her job, the dad who has had his hours cut back, or the grandmother who needs work to supplement her family's income doesn't get ripped off. It is also about educating people to recognize job scams and to avoid them and to report them to the Federal Trade Commission. And it is very much about sending the message that federal and state law enforcement officials will not tolerate those who take advantage of consumers in these tough economic times. Make no mistake, if you advertise that you guarantee people jobs or opportunities to make money working from home, we will shut you down. We will give your money back to the consumers you've taken it from, and when appropriate, we'll work with prosecutors like Tony West and the folks at the Department of Justice to send you to jail. Uh, several of our law enforcement partners will speak in a moment. You'll also hear from Kathy Wilburn, a mom who responded to a classified ad in her local newspaper, which turned to be a come on for a job scam. I want to commend Kathy for stepping forward. It uh, takes courage to come here and to talk to you today about being taken advantage of. And we need people like Kathy who not only get mad, but also know how to get even. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, I am also pleased to be here with my friend Tony West, Assistant Attorney General for the Civil Division of the Department of Justice. The collaboration between the Federal Trade Commission and the Department of Justice underscores the high priority both agencies place on fighting against scam artists. We want to work together to shut them down to, and then, um, with Tony's help, to prosecute them and to send them to prison. I'm also very pleased to be joined, uh, and Attorney General Cordray is 
is, is snowbound, I understand, something that we in Washington are very sympathetic to, uh, <laughs> to Attorney General Richard Cordray of the state of Ohio. Uh, General Cordray, your vigorous commitment to consumer protection, and in particular, your campaign against job scammers has set a high bar for us all. I also want to recognize Pete Rendina from the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, which is an invaluable partner in so many of our investigations and our law enforcement actions. We thank you for your continued support and for being with us today. I also want to thank the FTC staff who led this sweep, especially the sweep coordinators, Jennifer Larrabee, Phil Tominio, Bob Schroeder, and Monica Vaca. They, they did a great job, and they deserve our, 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 our thanks. I want to tell you about a few of the over 70 new actions that we're announcing today, which represent the combined efforts of the Federal Trade Commission, the Department of Justice, the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, and our state partners, Arizona, California, Florida, Illinois, Kansas, Maryland, Minnesota, Ohio, and Utah. These scams use classified ads, websites, and direct mail campaigns to trick consumers into paying for opportunities that promised jobs or a steady income and delivered nothing. Let me give, a, give you a few examples drawn from the FTC cases. A first, Government Careers, Inc. listed federal and postal service jobs and promised job hunters that if they bought the company's test materials, they would be guaranteed federal employment. But after paying, the would-be applicants found themselves out of money and out of luck. The promised jobs did, did not materialize. Indeed, and let me be emphatic about this, no one can guarantee federal or postal employment. Entertainment Works raked in millions of dollars advertising jobs for TV and movie extras. Here, too, job seekers paid money only to learn that the defendant's production was non-existent. It was a trivial pursuit. The applicants didn't receive the advertised opportunities, and their financial accounts were drained of additional and hefty fees. Real Wealth, Inc. told people looking to work from home that they could earn a steady income by mailing uh, envelopes or postcards. This is a classic enveloping stuffing scam. Instead of providing real job opportunities, they provided guidebooks advising uh, consumers to go out and defraud others. And a bill of staff, which marketed to stay-at-home moms, offered work-at-home job, job listings on a website that it claimed was, quote, scam-free. But the moms did get scammed, spending money for jobs uh, job listings that the defendants didn't deliver. We're seeking to shut down each of these operations and to return the ill-gotten gains to the job seekers who lost money. So the FTC is about tough enforcement, but we're also about public education. We're hoping that people who hear about these cases will pause to think about job scams, how to recognize them and how to report them to the Federal Tra Trade Commission at FTC.gov or at 1-877-FTC-HELP. To that end, we've produced a short video that explains the lures that con artists use. These scams can be tough to spot, and we want to raise public awareness about them so people can avoid them and when they see them, report them to us. Let's take a minute and see this video, which will appear on, on this monitor. Uh, it'll be on the big oh, screen. Oh, on the big screen. 